Um, like, not necessarily. Uh, I mean, a lot of examples, but some of the things that I reflect on of, like, I am not the smartest guy. I'm not the, um, you know, I'm a high school dropout. I, I, whatever. But I often think, why, um, am I able to have such smart, capable um, people, you know, follow me and accept a paycheck from, from me when they can go work anywhere. And and I do think I have a lot of the emotional intelligence um, that I want to study even further, but I, I do genuinely care about their frustrations and their... Um, you know, I think one of the things that keep them with me is is yeah, they can go anywhere, but where can they kind of have some voice of how they want their department, their company, their boss to work with them, and you know, uh, you know, not just financially, like give me a raise, but you know, this this coworker of mine is pissing me off and. You know, usually CEOs, I, in my opinion, the ones that I've been able to meet with and talk with, you know, there's definitely not a lot of interaction uh-huh. um, with the CEO of how to solve those problems. And so they kind of, you know, either either just work through those frustrations and suck it up or they quit. And I'm grateful that... Uh, it takes a lot more time, you know, to sit and kind of be a counselor-ish, you know, and, and hear their feelings and thoughts. But I, I, that's the only thing I can think of that has kept, that has set me apart from other non-high school graduates' abilities, you know. Uh, and so, you know, the ability to take on other people's frustrations and emotions and and while they stress me out and they anger me and and I do let it seep in you know when they're frustrated at me I let them vent of, of about their anger that I'm not able to get things done quickly enough and you know most CEOs would say well I'm the boss you know I'm the but I'm like you know what that would frustrate me too if if I was if I wasn't able to do my job adequately or feel like I can't do my job adequately if my my boss didn't give me the resources needed to or whatever, but just being able to be heard, I think give t- it means so much to them. And yeah. I actually have an example of that where okay. um, I'm trying to think of where to even start, but during our hellacious year, you know, our, of our recovery year, <clears throat> when we had no extra funds, we had no extra abilities to give raises to whatever. Um, we had one of our campuses um, kind of just buckle down and and do what they could to survive. Uh, of you know, uh, how, how do I'm trying to preface it correctly because um, I want to get to the main points, but. This this campus didn't have adequate leadership, you know, because we were spreading their principal thin to kind of be the principal over two locations. They didn't have extra operating budget, so they kind of had to make up stuff to do as outings, you know, to go do free outings instead of like the previous years when we had money, we would pay for, you know, going to movies, pizza parties, all these other things, and so they would you know, they got really creative and I was just so impressed by what they were able to do with so little with uh-huh, the students. Uh-huh. Um, and so they, they of course, um, deserved praise and kudos and uh, appreciation. And we were doing that. But when we, the next year, as we started at now, as we're going into next school year, at the end of this school year, we started expressing our abilities to, to provide more, um, funds for 
field trips next year and the ability to hire a new principal um, uh, for their campus specifically that isn't distracted between two locations and you know give give raises to everybody but not as much as they had hoped for everything they did but the whole thing the whole the whole uh kind of explanation was Harrison learned so much last year of even though he wants to do things we have to make sure it's financially affordable and it doesn't put us in a pinch in the, down the road even though we're okay now and blah 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 you know unlike before it was grow 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 and we will kind of deal with the consequences later and but now it's it so at the end of this school year the staff of that campus said okay well we heard that we can afford a principal now and we heard that we'll be able to get a raise we want this and we want this lead teacher who kind of held down the fort um her name is Pam uh, we want her to be our principal like we because she was kind of our leader while there wasn't a a full-time leader principal at our campus you know she we love her we support her she she advocates for us and everything and but she doesn't but then on my side she doesn't have the principal certificate as we're striving for accreditation that we have to have all these different certificates all these different um items in place to obtain accreditation uh -huh. and so um and so that was one thing the other things where the staff feel like okay well how come we didn't get a raise to what we thought we should have been um we knew that raises were not going to be great this last year because there was no money but we thought when money does return and we're back on our feet we would be returning to this amount and i said well i you know i apologize so but the problem is is with the new principal's salary and with um, allowing budgets for new field trips and whatnot we could afford raises for everybody to this amount instead of what our hope was to be this amount which is a little bit higher yeah so there was like three different um frustrations they had which they were all kind of in a roundabout passive aggressive way saying if we don't get these three demands met we're all going to kind of walk type thing and it, the three things were we want pam to be the principal um we want our higher uh raise and we want uh it was that it what was the third thing i think it was mainly just more communication of what's going on with the school from the top because they're they didn't really have a lot of they kind of heard things through the grapevine from their half-time principal that was at their location half the time and the other location half the time and so they would kind of hear things and then it would change and so they they just wanted more communication and more faith and trust in the corporate side to to know that you know things are actually going to be happening the way they hear that they're going to be happening so um so after a lot of back and forth with my board i had rec i had since created a board for my school which it, it consisted of a, the superintendent and the principals mm -hmm. to, and my financial director uh, finance director and my director of operation to kind of help me make decisions rather than before what caused a lot of the problems was i would make decisions with each individual campus that weren't very uniform amongst all the campuses and it would cause all these different problems and people would feel like well there's special favors because Harrison likes these people more or you know blah 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 so I created a board to make sure we made decisions as a board to have every campus be fair have the same resources the same uh, 
curriculum, you know, it's just so that it's all uniform and and the quality is continuous and, and everything. So I took their uh, frustrations to the board and we decided, you know, based on the facts, based on what we could provide and, and what's best for the school to get accredited and blah, 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 I had to re- report and return back to that staff that approached me and asked for these these three items and basically had to tell them no on Pam being the principal, no on the raises, but we're going to be doing so much more for the um, communication process and everything. But because I literally for two hours let them vent me, cry, yell, uh, you know, express their frustrations after I was able to express just the reasons why instead of it was just a Harrison decision, you know, these, the, you know, I just literally cannot because then I'll be letting you guys down in a few months by saying we have to cut back on all these other expenses or we can't provide graduations because we're not, we're not accredited anymore. You know, these are just the, the things that the facts after the, them realizing that they've been heard, that I've taken, you know, the two hours to be kind of thrown arrows and daggers at, they didn't get two of the three things they wanted, but they all still stayed on, and they're all happier than ever for some reason. And it's oh, like, wow. And it's, it's, so it was a big success story and a big learning curve for me to say, why didn't I do that before? Like, they were unhappy for the last three months of school because, you know, they – it didn't have a lot of communication. They had been told what their pay was going to be the next year. Are they just, were they deciding if they were even going to come back or not? But I kept pushing off those conversations because I kept thinking, you know, they'll hear about the facts. They'll hear about the reasons why through the grapevine, through the principles, through the whatever, and they'll be okay with it once they hear those facts. But those facts are never really agreed to unless they know how – it kind of goes back to – you know, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I think that I talked to you about that, that I kind of wanted to add in the book. I'm not, that's not ringing the bell. I like that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. it's People I mean, don't care how much you know. Until they know how much you care. That's great. Yeah. And it literally was that of explaining all these things I know and explaining all these facts that are going to keep our, our school safe and and progress and successful but I care about it so much I care about you guys I care about the school I care about the students and I'm willing to spend all this time trying to just show you that is when they actually could hear it and they could actually absorb it Um, yeah and that actually goes into an art uh an article I was writing of the that phrase is as I'm going to begin buying distressed companies and, and helping turn them around and, and selling it back to them. The biggest thing is not going in to these companies and, and talking to their staff and even talking to the owners of how we can help turn around your company, but we're going to have to make some hard decisions and cuts here and there and blah, 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 blah. That, it's foolish to start doing it that way. You first have to show how much you care because people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So if you go in there and say, look, I see all this hard work you guys are doing. You guys have hired a lot of friends and family. We don't want to hurt anybody's livelihoods. We need to take care of the company, though, because if the company's not there, it's not going to provide any livelihood for anybody. And if you can if you can build that trust and relationship that you care, that you want to do what's best for as many people as you can, then they'll start listening to some of the hard decisions you have to make of, or what you know that will help the company succeed because they know how much you actually care. And so um, that could be a chapter down the road or, or whatever the, of a falling forward moment because there's been several times when a, one of my companies or one of my departments has been failing. And I'll go in there and I'll just try to turn it around and, and recover it quickly. But, of, of course, that has to – that means – budget cuts over here, we're not going to spend so much over there, we have to lay it off on a position because it's not as needed and blah, 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 so that, that 
that person that got laid off felt like they just were never appreciated and all these other things. And so, you know, but it, they were all smart and and wise decisions, and it, it makes sense to do it. But they, they if, if they don't feel like you care, it was just vulgar and people, the morale is way low. So 